Um, Tommy, I don't know if you found this in your research, and I, I hope this is correct, but Lowry became uh, the highest scoring Finnish player in NBA history. And he did that in his rookie year. <laughs> what, I remember that. Yeah. What, what the, the, the sort of uh, your parents, I believe your parents both played. What was sort of the, um, the competition like, uh, I know you played, I th- believe it was a second tier, uh, team in Finland, but what was the competition like when you, I assume you played it internationally, you know, U 16s, U 15s in Europe and whatnot. Um, but, but how, how difficult was the competition? within Finland. Yeah, it was like the second highest uh, league. We played with a high school team that we recruited. Uh, it was like academy that was all our age national team players. And it was more based on our practice rather than actual games. So we didn't play the top league to be playing against the top teams. We played one time a week against the second tier teams, but it was more about practicing two times a day. And it was k- kind of getting us ready for college. I think that's, that was the main point of it. So I think competition was good. Uh, like they had American players on those second tier teams, like three or four guys a team. So definitely got the experience about against grown men rather than just high school kids. So it was good. Did you have any interaction with, with, um, I know you guys are different ages, but like with Luca or any of these other, any of the other Euro guys who've since come to the league before you, uh, got to college, did you play with them in any kind of organized way or anything like that? Yeah. Luca is the only one that comes out my mind. It was before my rookie year we had, we hosted the Euro basket 2017 in Finland and we played Slovenia. I think Luca was 17 at the time when he was he was on that on that team so i think that's the only thing only one i can remember did you know did you know then that he is going to do what he's doing now uh, i knew he's going to be great but i know i didn't know if he's going to be this good <laughs> but he was definitely killing it o- as a teenager over there already uh goran goran dragic uh i believe got mvp of that eurobasket in yeah, 17 yeah. if i'm not mistaken um and you, this past Eurobasket, uh, had 43 in the round of 16. You got your team to the quarterfinals. I was actually with Coach K over the weekend, uh, who coached the USA basketball team for a long time. And we were just kind of trading stories, catching up and whatnot. And he likes to tell this story about the 2006 team when all those guys came in. Jerry Colangelo told them all to leave their egos at the door. And Coach K gets up in front of the team and he's like, I actually, this is the one time I'm going to disagree with Jerry. I need you guys to bring your egos. Dwayne, I need you to bring your ego that you have for the Heat. LeBron, I need you to bring your ego that you have for the Cavs. He's like, because when we go play these teams, Pau Gasol, Manu Ginobili, they turn into fucking superheroes. (laughs) And there is something about you guys going back to your European national teams and just elevating your play. And you were able to do that uh, this past Eurobasket. How much confidence did that give you going into this season? Oh, it gives a ton. Uh, just it's the opportunity you you get to hoop, and there's really no restrictions. Like I'm bringing the ball up, handling pick and roll, trying to facil- facilitate for other guys and stuff like that. So maybe I haven't been doing that as much in the NBA. So just showing that to other people and myself that I, I'm able to do that. So just to do it, I think this year's Euro basket was really high level of basketball. A lot of NBA guys went back. So just being able to do it over there, it's just, I think it's easier to carry over here after that. As always, thank you for listening to the show. Please subscribe on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, Wondery, wherever you listen to your podcast. Uh, we appreciate you guys. 